Thank you so much for this award. It's a real honour to receive this award, especially with a very, very strong selection of films playing. The film came from um, an idea from a, a co-writer. Um, she had come up with a, a, a premise, which was about a deaf mute girl that lived in a walls in a, a brothel. And I thought, that's a really great idea. Maybe we can set it in the Balkans. It's about a young deaf mute girl, and during a campaign of violence on her village, she's kidnapped by soldiers. And this young girl, she's sold by the soldiers to a brothel keeper played by Kevin, uh, named Victor, and she's his personal slave. Her, her life is pretty much, she's like an emotional shell. She's a, a complete victim and she's kind of shut off herself. She's emotionally numb and one day she meets one of the girls um, that's brought in she, that can do sign language. Basically, they start to communicate together. And it's the first time she's really communicated for, with anyone for a long time. She starts to get her humanity back. She starts to feel again for the first time in a year or so. And they start to get a little bond. And then the militia that were responsible for the death of her mother in this um, campaign of violence, they come back on completely different business. And it's during while they're there, they, one of the soldiers is brutalising her friend that she's got a connection with. She tries to rescue her friend and it turns into a ferocious revenge thriller. Critics Award, thank you to the critics. Um, probably won't have an actor saying that too often. I play this character, Victor, who is a... I mean, he knows that he's heading in the direction of being... A, a, he's a war criminal on the loose, if you like, on the run. And... He is extremely brutal uh, and not shy of that brutality, uh, but at the same time, he's extremely clever uh, and manipulative. He's really forming a world for himself that he knows he can be, hopefully be safe from the authorities, he can keep himself hidden away, he can make a lot of money on the side through this whole brutal venture with this brothel and uh, and this, I suppose you could say, that the sex slave trade industry with these girls. But I think his ultimate goal, his ultimate objective is to sort of get, get out of there and get the hell out of the country and get away from the whole thing. The, the one thing that me and Kevin spoke about a lot when talking about his character was we didn't want him to be a one-sided bad guy that, you know, is obviously evil. This was a guy that has survived through these wars. He was in the army, he's left the army, he's surviving. In that world that he was in, the, the way to do it was to yeah. sell girls, you know, sex trafficking. That was his way of being an opportunist. He didn't enjoy killing girls, he doesn't enjoy hurting them. It was more that his environment has turned him into the person that he is. Yeah. I mean, look, I would never want that anyway as, as, as an actor, is that you don't, you shouldn't, I mean, if, to be honest with you, if anybody is in a project, if there's some, if a, if a character in any project, in any film, comes across as one dimensional, then that's bad, that's, something's wrong there. Because no one's like that, you know. But being in touch, getting in touch with the darker side of a character is part of the journey that you go on to f to see where you're going. Yeah, with with that guy, this is a very dark world. It goes on today in the world we live in now. This is not something that is not uh, represented in the news. We hear about it all the time. Um, back home in England, we have the Helen Bamber Foundation. These people are trying to fight this that's going on and it's going on in all countries uh, and in this film it's all set during that brutal sort of atrocity that war that was going on that war of attrition within the Balkans. The scariest thing is that it is based in reality you know we've done a lot of research and these places exist you know everything that kind of happens in the film and what these girls endure it happens on a daily basis for these girls. We've had a great reception wherever we go. Um, people tend to really feel the film affects them, um, especially girls. Yeah. Girls really came up to us a lot and said, you know something, it's great that you're making this sort of film about the subject, but not being exploitive. You know, we don't have naked girls running around in this film. It, we show the real ugly, brutal side. If you watch the film very closely, you will see a lot of uh, clever sort of metaphors that are used as well and I actually look at I actually think there's a side of the film that's incredibly poetic in a strange way.